morning everyone here from Bolivia a new country for us today is gonna be our first day exploring here we're in the capital city of La Paz which is known to be the highest capital city in the world it's around 3650 meters so just like when we were in Cusco recently a lot of people get sick when they arrive here because here's even higher than Cusco and we're staying in a really awesome apartment Probably the nicest place we've stayed in a while. Yes, I think so. And it's pretty affordable. It's $38 per night. And I think we are in a very good location and we have this view. Got some amazing views because we're on the 22nd floor. I'll write down the neighborhood that we're in. Look at these for some cool views. And we're actually just about to head up there to another city called El Alto. Apparently on Thursdays and Sundays, they have a market and today is Thursday. So we're gonna head up there now You probably can't see on the GoPro, but they have these like cable carts gondolas called Teleferico So that's how you can go all the way up to the top. You can see a bunch of them. They're coming down here as well So there's loads of different lines that you can take to go up and down So we're actually supposed to have a rest day today because we're pretty tired from the travels in Peru But since today is the market day we're gonna go out and explore. Google Maps says it's about 17 minutes to the Teleferico station, the one that we're gonna get. So this area is supposed to be popular for its nightlife. We haven't really seen any nightclubs or anything. We see a lot of school kids though. So I guess there's loads of schools around this area. And as you can see, Carol's in a coat. It is pretty chilly here, colder than in Peru. Probably because of the altitude. So our first impressions when we arrived yesterday is that the traffic is pretty mental here, isn't it? Yeah, it took so long for us to arrive to our Airbnb yesterday because of the traffic. And we've noticed that there are so many vans like this one. Yeah. It's like too much, I think. It looks like it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's like the public transport. Look, you can see them all here. Vans absolutely everywhere. Probably the most transport vans I've ever seen. the yellow line, Linea Amarilla. They all have different color names. That's how you know how to differentiate them. Boletos, tickets. So the tickets for each ride are three Bolivians. Hola. Gracias. So in the reviews, everyone was saying how awesome it is because there's no queues at all, because there's so many different carts. Really fast. <laughs> Thank you. 
arrived in El Alto now. I think this is the Mirador, the viewpoint here. Need a clear day really to see everything. Very cloudy and hazy. I think on a clear day you can even see like the snowy mountains in the background. Can't see much right now though. And we actually have to get on another gondola line, the silver line to go to the area of El Alto that has the market because we're on the other side. Wow, still nice views though. Yeah, we're very high. Yeah, our, our ears were popping. Uh-huh, during the, the teleferico ride. <laughs> yes, I think now we're around 4,150 meters. <laughs> and there's this huge city up here. The second biggest in Bolivia, apparently. The crazy thing is there's more people living up here in El Alto than there are in La Paz down there. It's the same price? Yeah, I think for all the, the telepericos. I think they have like a card for t 10 rides, but I don't think we're gonna get 10 rides today, so not worth buying that one. Uh, so we just have to keep buying like a single, a single ticket, yeah. So straight at the entrance of the teleferico, you're right in the action. This market is called Dieses de Julio. Carol, I think Bolivia wins for the best kind of public transport with the yeah. teleferico. Yeah, that's uh, very, uh, very impressive because they have the teleferico line and it goes like pretty much everywhere. And it's super fast. Super fast. No queues, no queues. affordable. Really, really good. Yeah, I said to Carol, it's a good job I didn't bring the drone today because we already got the drone shots from the teleferico. Anyway, about this market. It's not necessarily a tourist market. You can see there's like car parks. I think it's more for locals, like household things. There will be sections with like food and restaurants. I don't think it's geared up for, for tourists. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, here's your food. Smells like meat. Carol, I think this is already one of the busiest markets we've ever been to on our travels. <laughs> yeah, and it's quite big. I think it goes for like maybe hours. I read uh, five kilometers. It's the biggest open air market in Bolivia. Yeah, it's pretty unreal all the different things they have here. I don't think I've ever seen a market with all these car parts. Car park market. Let's buy a car part as a souvenir. Something different. So this part's a bit more open now. A bit more easier to walk. Yeah, it's like a never ending market. Can't even see the end. Looks like it's about to rain. It's raining already. Yeah, a little bit. People covering their, their things. So I think now we're going into the closed section. We already bought quite a few clothes in Peru, so I don't think I really need any clothes either. Yeah, I like the local places where you can eat. Seems like there's more food options now. Probably very affordable food. Wow, look at all that meat. 
single, single, single. Man, all the clothes getting wet. Yeah. I don't even think it's possible to cover all these clothes. Yeah, it's raining quite heavy now. I think we're gonna find a place to get a drink or something because we're not that hungry yet. Maybe some tea, warm tea. So we ended up going for the Fanta. We asked around, but nobody has tea around here. And they said that no other places have tea. So online it said that you have to be careful of pickpocketers in the market. I just put my wallet and phone in the secret inside pocket. So it should be okay. Yeah, I think you have to be careful uh, not only in the market but in, in also and I think even in La Paz but it's, it's like that in almost all the places that we go in South America and even when we go to London or Paris you gotta be careful with pickpockets it's always like that it doesn't look like it's gonna pass anytime soon no I don't know how we're gonna walk back because it's raining a lot now yeah, hopefully it passes. The forecast didn't even show rain. So now it's turned into a hailstorm and a thunderstorm. It's thunder, lightning, hail. <laughs> we, we've been here for like an hour almost. Yeah, we're just waiting to see if it could get any better, but it's getting worse. <laughs> it's good for the restaurant businesses though, because everybody came inside and started eating and drinking. All right, we're making a run for it. Try and get to the, the gondola station. <laughs> I think there will be better shelter and then we'll see if we're going to stay or we're just going to go back down to La Paz. It's still so bizarre to me though that the other times that we've been at this height, it's always been on like top of a mountain, the mountain peaks, people feeling sick. And then out here there's just some massive city of a million people living at this height. <laughs> really strange. <laughs> and there's a river. Jump. <laughs> It's absolutely freezing now too because of the rain. Extra cold, my hands. All right, I think we're good to go once again. Stop raining now. And we're on a quest for a hot drink. We really want a, a hot drink after all that rain and cold. I wouldn't mind a hot chocolate. Surely someone's selling some hot drinks somewhere around here. Man, these guys having ice cream. No thanks. Yeah, so this part's no longer a, a walking street. Cars around. Kind of harder to walk around now. I can't believe I even saw them selling ice cream up here. Yeah, but uh, like yesterday we were in the center of uh, La Paz and like everybody was having ice cream and it was very cold. I was like, that's weird, but maybe they like it. <laughs> People up here like being cold, but they don't want to be warm. I think my mission for a hot drink is gonna be a fail. <laughs> We're literally walking around everywhere. We see like fresh uh, juices, but no no hot drinks. Cafe. Uh, Cafe. Oh, finally. <laughs> there we go. That's funny, right at the moment when I was saying fail. <laughs> We're giving up. We found, I think we find it now. It'll be closed. I know, cafeteria. 
Oh, there we go. Guys, they don't have any hot drinks right now. They only have lunch and not serving anything hot. <laughs> only food. Man, how can you have a place that says cafeteria and they don't have hot drinks? Oh nice, they have picarones, just like in Peru, which is kind of like the, the donut, real tasty. They also have the sugar cane drink there, that we see a lot, right? We see that in Asia. We have that in Brazil too. Yeah, I think we've seen it in Asia. Yeah, uh -huh. So at this part that we've come to now, they even sell cars. Like all, the, all these are cars for sale. It basically is the market that sells everything. Mission accomplished. This was our last attempt. So I got the hot chocolate. We just found this little like cafe place. And Carol got some tea. Mate de coca. Coca tea. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how much it is. Ah, it feels nice holding it though. <laughs> Finally warm hands. This is gonna taste extra good now. ended up getting on the red line back to La Paz and the part that we're in now is called Centro, the city center. Very busy around this area and we're just making our way to the historic center. I'm guessing that this is probably like the business area too. Looks like it. Yeah this is a uh, crazy traffic. I was talking about a lot of people just go through the red lights, that's why it becomes all congested. Wanna go now? Yeah. Alright. Left. Yeah, go left. <laughs> Sandwich. Alright. Dodge this car. What the hell? So I think we're close to the main historic center now by the looks of the buildings. The old colonial style buildings. That's a nice one. The pink one. So one thing to point out is that we've barely seen any tourists all day. Even here near the historic center. Oh, maybe this guy is on the left. But yeah, besides him, we haven't seen that many. We didn't see any in El Alto. Uh, so I think we're coming the wrong way on this bridge. I think the main square that we want to go to is over there. Where we can see the church. Is that back then? Oh, oh no. <laughs> we definitely chose a dodgy day to, to come out. Bad weather day. And this is one of the famous squares to visit. Plaza Mayor de San Francisco. And I think the church there is of San Francisco. On the 1700s. Lots of fireworks. Yeah, I think there is an event going on. You can see there with the... Oh, back there? Yeah band and people dressed up. Yeah, it seems like some sort of parade. You want to head over there then? Yeah, yeah. Let's check it out. Definitely a very busy capital. Yes, I think one of the most busy places we've, we've visited in the last month. I think so. The amount of people really, that's really everywhere. <laughs> day maybe
ended up coming in a restaurant near the square because it started raining really heavily again. Pretty cool artwork on the wall. And I got this beef here. It's 90 Bolivianos. There's like some pepper creamy sauce on it. Really, really tasty. I've already had a bite. And I think yours is the trout once again. Mm -hmm. Just like in Peru. Mm -hmm. That was 70 Bolivianos. These are touristy prices, by the way, since we're right in the main tourist area. It seems like the food options are kind of similar to, to Peru. Mm -hmm. The trout, they also had uh, alpaca, llama. And lomo, lomo saltado, I think. Yeah, which we thought was like a Chinese Peruvian dish, but they have it here too. But also they have the Shifa restaurants, which is like a Chinese mixed with the Bolivian food. And they also had that in Peru as well, Shifa, the same name. Maybe the Chinese came here around the same time as they did in Peru. So the restaurant that we ate at is one of the famous streets around here. It's called the Witch's Market. So apparently it's called the Witch's Market because it's run by witch doctors. That's quite famous here in Bolivia. They work with natural remedies, potions, different things like that. And I read that one of the most famous things here is a dried llama fetus. From what I read online, uh, people in Bolivia bury them beneath their houses for good luck and there it is the, the dried llama fetus kind of creepy looking can you even take that on a flight a dried llama fetus so. yeah i don't think oh, you can look at this. oh there's more yeah yeah that is pretty creepy i don't know if these are real too like a stuffed llama not sure I think it is real, it looks like it. The head. They even have a witch. <laughs> Their souvenirs and clothes are also quite similar to what you see in Peru. Yeah. Is this the one that you're looking at? Which? This one? Quanto? 177 Bolivianos. That's a cool one, no drama llama. <laughs> back at the apartment now it ended up raining quite heavy once again probably one of the worst weather days that we've had on all our travels just kept raining all the time just been enjoying the amazing views like I said before just really awesome location that we are staying in and there's gonna be another video from around La Paz not not the center we're doing a tour we're gonna to actually be doing a bit of high altitude hiking we booked the tour before in the city centre, so looking forward to that. And we're going to be heading to some other valleys that are supposed to be cool nearby though, not too far. So if you like this video, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you in the next one.